Hey, what's up guys? It's Jimmy with the Outdoor Affiliate. Today I'm going to be going over how to hand tie a bluegill colored bass jig. Uh, whatever you decide to tie could be a little bit different to match the hatch, but I fish a little bit darker water, so I'll be using some bright colors, but mostly watermelons, blues, and uh, a little bit of orange chartreuse and uh, it's like pinkish lavender color. Uh, what you're going to need is, you know, fly tying vise to hold your jig in place, your jig, bobbin with thread, scissors, and super glue. Uh, I'll try to put all the links in the descriptions. Um, I really like using these living image skirts. I find that it work really good for me, especially in the darker waters. Uh, a little bit flashy. But let's go ahead and dive into this. First things first, you're going to take your bobble and your thread and uh, bring it underneath. Give yourself a nice tag line and then uh, just start wrapping going in one direction. You want to cover the whole tying area going in one direction. It's going to give you a surface to work with and uh, make sure that your silk and skirt tabs are going to stay in place. Once you get one direction covered, you're going to fold your tagline over and then start going back the other way over top of the tagline. Once you get all the way to the other end, you're going to cut your tag line. And just to make sure it stays in place, I'm going to try to put a little dab of super glue on it. And you don't need much, just a little bit to hold it in place. My dog decided to join me. Once you let that dry for a second, you're going to choose your tabs. And uh, one thing I always like to do is put your darker colors at the top of the jig. Um, you know, trying to match the hatch as much as possible. So I'm going to take my tab, split it, kind of let it get in place in the center of the tab and uh, just get two wraps around it just to kind of hold it in place where you want it at first and uh, this just allows you to work it in throughout the whole jig area kind of hold it in place the bobbin the weight of the bobbin will hold it and then you're able to spread the tab out make sure you have all areas of the jig head covered And you're able to tighten it up, put another wrap on it. You're going to bring in your second tab. Hold that in place, put a wrap on it, two wraps. Bring that tight. And then I just like, like using these uh, brighter colors with just a little bit of flash. So you don't need much. You can rip off what you want. Two wraps, pull it tight. Add another color. Go 
a little bit more orange. I'm just going to put this one at the bottom. Get your wraps, two wraps. Secure it where you want. And then, you know, if you do two, you're able to move it to get it all centered up. Pull that tight. Then a little bit of chartreuse. Two wraps. Once you have everything secured where you want it, pull it tight and start wrapping. Just kind of have to pull your tabs out of the way to make sure you're not double wrapping those. I like to do about 10 wraps. Personally, you can do as much as you want, but and pull that tight. Then, what you're going to do is secure it all, just pull out some slack and your bobbin, you're going to hold the area. And then bring the extra around. And then you're going to put your bobbin through the loop you made. Pull that tight. Another loop. And this time you're going to go through your loop twice. Pull that tight. One more time. Single loop. At this point, you go ahead and cut your line off. Put a little super glue on to hold it all in place. At this point, you start cutting your tabs. They don't have to be perfect because you can get all those perfect once you get uh, your jig out of the vise. I'll just cut the ends of them off, leave me some room to work with. After you have all your tabs cut, you can go ahead and pull it out. Then if you want, you can trim up the bottom. And trim it up a little bit. I like them short, close to the hook, personally. And that's it finished product all right guys I'm gonna try to put all the links in the description to all this stuff but uh, y'all have a good one